my name is Clay Malott. Uh, I'm an author for snowbrands.com. Um, I'm going to walk you through a couple of uh, key skinning concepts here uh, when you're touring in the backcountry. So first and foremost is skin track angle. This is one of the most important things to energy consumption in the backcountry. So you'll notice here the angle that I'm skinning at is fairly steep, taking lots of effort to step up and stomp down. It's a very inefficient way to travel. This slope is probably about 20 degrees. Um, the ideal skin track angle is about 13 to 14. 12 to 14 degrees so a better skin track angle is going to be something like this where I'm moving efficiently consistently gaining consistent elevation but not to the point where it's taking effort for me to be taking steps at a time another key concept that should be practiced daily in the backcountry is kick turns and this is when you're reversing a skin track so you're gonna go there step up lift your foot back like that bring your other ski here and that's going to allow you to reverse your skin track angle. I'll show it one more time here. Stamp it out, kick up, kick any snow off. And there's your angle right there. So another thing that's super important when you're skinning, um, especially on steeper slopes when you have a steeper skin track angle, um, is making sure you're not getting too far forward. You know, it's, it's uh, instinctual sort of be here stepping over your toes, what that's gonna do is cause you to slip, lose your balance, all these different things. What you wanna focus on doing is keeping your weight back. It's counterintuitive, but when you keep your weight back in your heels, you're gonna be a lot more stable on your skins. So you'll see here I'm standing upright, skinning with my weight on my heels. Another thing that's important is not to bend your knees too much. That's gonna cause your, cat, uh, your quads to tire out really quickly. If you straighten your back leg, not hyperextend it like this, but straighten it here, you're putting a lot of that force through the bones of your leg. You're saving a lot of efficiency in the long run. So another uh, key concept in skinning that's gonna really help with efficiency is uh, not picking up your feet. So a lot of beginners I see out on the skin track are typically moving like this, which is a very natural motion to have. It's more similar to hiking. You're lifting your feet up. You know, you're used to hiking over obstacles. Something in skinning that you really want to emphasize is gliding. You want as much of your weight to be on the skin during your stride as possible. So going more like this, gliding your skin along the snow is going to be a lot more efficient in the long run rather than picking up your feet like this. So another super important concept in uh, efficient travel in the backcountry is pacing. If you're on you know, a short day tour, uh, you know, only an hour of skinning, you can go pretty fast. You, know, you can cruise up the skin track. If I'm going on a you know, 10 mile, 6,000 vertical foot skinning day, I'm gonna be at a much slower pace. And if I'm doing some sort of endurance challenge where I'm trying to you know, go for as long as, as uh, possible, um, then I'm gonna be moving at a pretty slow pace because what this is gonna do is slow and steady is gonna save your legs in the long run. Um, something that I like to think about is, could I hold this pace for three hours? If I had to go three hours without stopping, you know, this is probably a pretty good pace for me at three hours, but it's different for everyone based on their fitness, experience level in the backcountry. So really gauging that pace that will come with experience and that can help save your legs a lot in the backcountry.